This is the Samsung Galaxy S9. Oh wait, no it's not, that's a sight. This is the Samsung Galaxy S9, sorry for the confusion, but you have gotta admit it looks like an awful lot like last year, doesn't it? In fact, if you already own S8, I will tell you right now that probably don't need to upgrade. But there is this one feature that really does border on the magical. I'm Amir Adnan and this is the first look at the Samsung Galaxy S9 brought to you by Odon. Having established that the Samsung S9 and the larger S9 Plus looks almost identical to the predecessor. Let's talk about what has changed. Samsung seems to have taken the feedback about the S8's wonky fingerprint sensor to heart. The new one is kinda small, but it's now positioned beneath the camera instead of alongside it. And good news is, you can still use it to drop the notification shade. And it's also one of the few companies to retain the headphone jack. I have never seen such a small camera with a wearable aperture before pretty sure. GoPro don't do this, most tiny camera smaller than a point and shoot don't do this. This is really impressive for a smartphone so the goal with this software is to quickly and smartly switch between the wide open and stop down depending on how much light there are in the scene. I heard it defaults to f2.4 and then it opens to the wide under about a hundred looks which is actually really low light which means it's doing it as more of a low light mode but I'm doing the switching you see here in pro mode which has a button for it so you will able to switch to f1.5 whenever you want so I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on this for the full review gonna be testing it's pretty hard to see if it is really makes different and I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty big deal if you can see the difference between f1.5 and f2.4 for those on this phone but until the finger cross. Now here is the stuff that caught my eye. Remember that Sony XZ Premium with the epic slow motion video? Well, Samsung basically lifted that feature for the S9, hit the super slow mo mode and this thing can shoot at 960 frame per second for a quick very quick burst stretching out 0.2 second into over 6 seconds of normal playback speed the resolution takes a hit it's only 720p in this mode but it is a bit smaller than sony's implementation in that you can set it to automatically trigger once it sees the movement i know it's a niche thing but take it from me you will have more fun with this than you expect I actually think I almost gave an award to Galaxy S8 for being so close to its bigger brother as far as the feature set. But this year Galaxy S9 Plus not only gets bigger screen and more battery but it also gets more RAM and the more camera so there is a bigger separation there is a bigger buying decision but either way it comes out on March 16 and the pre-orders start March again just a couple of days so let me know what do you think is this camera all the new camera stuff enough to get you in the line to get a Samsung Galaxy S9 or maybe you are gonna keep waiting on some other flagship device let me know we will find out in a full review soon subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out thanks for watching touch you guys in the next one till then see ya